Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions, and in this video tutorial for the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions, I'm going to talk you through how to use frequency separation. Now, you might already use frequency separation, in which case you can go ahead and play the LSP frequency separation action that's included within the Signature Newborn set. Uh, but if you don't know, if you've heard of frequency separation and you've never really wanted to try it, I'm going to show you exactly how to use that frequency separation. It's not a bad word at all. It actually makes a lot of sense once you know how. The Signature Newborn um, actions are laid out in that you don't really need to use frequency separation. Many of the things you would normally do with the FS, you could do uh, with the actions included here. Uh, this image here is um, by Kelly Powell Sterling Photography. Absolutely beautiful. You can see baby has some baby acne, like this rash. It's quite common um, within a week or two after birth as baby adapts to the outside world. Um, this is a quite common occurrence around newborn photography time. And as photographers, it's kind of our job to lessen that down um, for the photograph. But you can actually do all this without using frequency separation. So I'm going to show you a few tips first to lessen that before we get down to frequency separation. Now let's fix up these areas of the uh, background first. And to do that, I'm going to come down here to the manual section, select and fix, create a duplicate fixing layer, come up here onto the spot healing brush, choose patch tool and draw around any of these areas you wish to remove. You can hold down shift and then play select and fix. And what this will do, it will work on the selections you've just made um, to fix those areas. Because you're on the patch tool, if something doesn't 100% add up, you can just use patch. <laughs> you can just use a patch tool to just patch that in a little bit there. You could also use the blanket um, crease fix action here, which does set up a semi frequency separation um, already for you just to kind of heal away some of these um, creases without losing the blanket texture there. Frequency separation basically means you have a texture layer and you have a tones layer. It separates your image into textures and tones. And that's what the blanket crease fix does and that is also what frequency separation does. But before we get to frequency separation, I'm literally just fixing a few of these areas um, just anyway, because we really don't need to jump straight into frequency separation. It's a little bit lengthy, you see, so it's a lot easier if you can use any of the actions first um, to fix issues rather than doing it so manually using frequency separation. So for the skin, um, I'm going to leave this and show you how you can do that with the frequency separation. But I'm also very, very tempted to quickly show you the Newborn Skin Pro Perfection action here, which means you quite often don't need to use frequency separation because the action kind of does it all for you. It selects a white brush you can already use. Um, all you need to do is change the size and brush on. And you'll see this is removing any of those little spots, crusts and flakes. So the need for frequency separation is really actually diminished, which is great because although it does give you total control, the finished result really is the same. So using the actions first before you need to get onto frequency separation will save you so much time in the manual editing department. You literally just brush this on and that removes any little flakes. I'm going to play the, uh, the Peely Wrist Lotion too, uh, but I'm going to leave some of this so I can show you frequency separation. Otherwise, by the time I finish using the actual actions, there really won't be much call for frequency separation. And I do want to show you how it works in case you decide to use it at any point um, in your editing. It definitely has a place uh, within editing frequency separation. It really does. And it's a wonderful technique to know whether you use it very much or not. So you can see there, I'm just using the actions to remove these uh, peely bits um, from the wrists. You can also use this on the ankles too. And the action does such a good job um, at removing those. So you can see there, just painting over, literally just painting over. And these blotchy areas here, there is an action too for the calm, blotchy and patchy skin. And this will really help calm those areas down. So before you dive straight into any kind of frequency separation, using these actions can really, really help make the job so much easier for you. So let's dive into the frequency separation now, shall we? I'm going to use the take a snapshot and flatten just so we can see where we are right now. Um, so we can go back and see the before and after. So here is the LSP frequency separation action. 
There are instructions that pop up to explain this to you. Run the action, open the group, and your image is separated into two parts, the skin textures and the tones, and you also have a blank layer. There are also a couple of extras. You have the frequency separation and textures and tones select and fix. I'm gonna show you how to use those, though you really don't need to. Um, they are just extra options. They aren't mandatory, but they do make things easier for you. So here we have the frequency separation group. You have textures. Let me just hide everything else. And the textures layer is literally, as it says, these are all the textures in your image with no real toning included in those. And you have the tones. So this is your image blurred. Um, all the textures have been blurred um, to oblivion. So you literally have the tones there and the textures there. The two pieces make your image a little bit like music. You have the treble and the bass. You have the textures and the tones. And then you have this blank layer here. This is for painting. Um, this paints in between the textures and the tones. So rather than painting directly over your image, this allows you to paint onto your image without um, damaging the integrity of the textures because they are positioned above. So grab a brush. I recommend 100% opacity, around 10% flow. This is on the blank layer here. Hold down Alt to sample, and you can use this to start um, painting away or painting onto any areas you wish to um, change the toning whilst keeping the texture intact. So you see that red area there? I'm just painting on the natural skin tone by sharp and um, selecting it here and just painting over. You can also use this to um, lighten up shadows. Whatever you do, just be very, very gentle because sometimes when you're zoomed in like this, it's very easy to go in quite heavy handed. Um, and then you zoom out and you realize baby can look quite flat. So do make sure you're going in very, very gently. Another way of fixing the tones is selecting the tones layer, grabbing your patch tool and drawing around any of these areas. Um, these are the areas I was just brushing over, for example. So selecting these. And what you can do, you can smooth these areas out by blurring them down. So I re recommend coming up onto select, modify, feather and adding a little bit of feathering in there and then filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you can choose the amount of blur and you'll see these are actually blurring away. If you look, watch this area here, no blur, adding some blur in, and that is helping these areas, um, they're blurring out and you can grab the patch tool, move them out of the way, but make sure you feather your selection first because that is on a, um, a blurred tones layer there is no texture there so by doing that you're actually blurring out areas on this tones layer here you can see uh, it perhaps wasn't feathered quite enough so I'm using the patch tool just to smooth these edges down even more so frequency separation is manual but once you have some practice um, and you play around with this it really can help you um, when it comes to editing your image editing out any areas that are very blotchy, for example, on the tones, um, and editing out specific textures. So I'm just calming some of these red blotches down by using the patch tool and patching them out of the way. You can also use this um, tone select and fix action. So you can select an area on the tones, play tone select and fix, and it does that for you. You don't even have to um, have the, the tones layer selected. So that's with painting on or using the tone fix to remove those blotchy areas. Let me show you there. Can you see? Blotches have been painted away using the frequency separation. Now these areas here, these are actually on the texture layer. So if we show you just the textures, you can see there's these kind of blotchy, slightly red areas here. They have come over onto the textures area. There are several ways you can fix the textures area. You can use the patch tool patch things out of the way to a more acceptable texture and that will keep the tones underneath. You can use the, um, the select and fix option so you can go over some of these areas you wish to fix and use the textures select and fix that does that for you. Or you can grab your clone stamp, set it to hard or semi hard, kind of between medium and hard a kind of medium flow sample from a good area and just paint this on and this way you can remove any of those um, 
any of those spots or areas, flakes for example, that you want to fix. You hold down Alt to sample from a good area and you just paint that on. Take your time with frequency separation. Um, if you find you really do need to use it, there's obviously a good reason for you needing to use this, um, so take your time with it. But again, do try the other actions first because um, you may find that by the time you know, you've know you done all this with frequency separation, you could have just painted over with one of the LSP actions. Um, the options give you both, both options there. So I'm just trying to select this little area here just to get a little bit gone there. So you can go and continue and carry on doing that. I'm just going to grab the blank layer with a brush just to come over a little bit of this, lighten up some of that redness. So frequency separation, I hope I'm explaining it well. Um, if I'm not, it basically is textures and tones. The tones are the colours, the texture is the, the sharp areas of your image, the detailed areas of your image. So make sure you're on the blank layer for painting and you can just paint over the um, any kind of blotchy areas. If they're not disappearing it means they're on the texture layer so grab your clone stamp and paint them away. Sampling from um, areas that are close by. And frequency separation allows you to keep the um, the texture and the tones separate in your image so rather than just using your flat image and going in and cloning doing it this way really does allow you to heal and fix um, any areas of your image that um, need that kind of manual touch just go that very very carefully um, without kind of steaming in and making your image um, over edited. So you can see by doing that the um, the textures of the image we're editing those right now but the tones are remaining integral um, the tones are still there no matter what we're doing with these textures underneath. You could also use the spot healing brush um, on any little spots on the frequency separation textures layer just coming over, you can basically do any editing you would normally do, cloning, patching, um, healing, but doing it just to the textures keeps the tones intact underneath. So that's how to use frequency separation. So you can see we fixed up a load of those areas and you can always bring the opacity up or down to suit of this frequency separation group if you wanted to just lessen the effect of it, which I would recommend sometimes um, because sometimes if you go in a little bit too heavy it can end up a little bit flat so do make sure you turn it on or off to check regularly that's just, um, that's just a little tip really if you are natural at frequency separation, you've had lots of practice then you don't need to worry about that at all you'll be able to absolutely race through it but if you're new to frequency separation, I do totally, totally recommend giving it a go, even if you're never really going to end up using it. Um, it's so handy to know how to do it. It's kind of a rite of passage, I guess, learning how to do frequency separation. So I've just been playing while I was rambling away. There were some reduced the reds um, over these redness areas here. There is no need to really use frequency separation to paint onto those because you can use the actions to do it for you. You could also use frequency separation to add some smoothness to the uh, the blanket here. On the blank layer, you can simply select, and I'm just going to use that just to paint some of this blanket. Selecting from a Goldilocks zone, uh, not too dark, not too light. So I'm just going to take a snapshot. I'm sorry if you can hear little voices shouting in the background. So take a snapshot and flatten. So we can see before and after. And that was using the LSP skin fix and then that's using the frequency separation. So frequency separation itself is not um, a one click action. It's a manual action where it separates the textures and the tones in your image. You have a blank layer in between. You also have um, burn and dodge here. I didn't show you these, did I? So you can grab a brush on these. Burn means um, darken. Dodge means lighten. So for example, if you wanted to 
lighten or darken any of the tones in your image you can use the dodge and burn so I'm just going to rub that over this area here so you can see here we're adding a little bit of dodging and burning to those tones only and dodging we could add some lightness coming in here just like this so basically it's contouring the natural um, darkness and shadows um, and highlights and light areas in your image and that's using the frequency separation in the signature newborn photoshop actions um, you can also find um, a three-part blog on the lsp actions website about using frequency separation um, that goes into even more detail than i've gone in now um, that really helps explain that to you this image is by kelly pal sterling photography absolutely beautiful let's just see the before and after one more time so before and after there Using the LSP Signature Newborn, these are available at www.lsp-actions.com. You can catch the rest of the video tutorials for that set there. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.